Okay, so you want VirtualBox. So the first thing you can do is just uh, go to OpenSage. And then uh, from there, go to Products. And then scroll down to VirtualBox. Okay. And then you'll scroll down to uh, right here. Click here to get the virtual box. And it'll take you to virtualbox.org. Okay. Go into downloads. And then pick whichever uh, type you want. Um, you can pick your uh, Windows, uh, OS X, and uh, Solaris, and I'm going to be going with Linux here. And then you pick uh, if you're going with a 32 bit or 64 bit, and I'm using Ubuntu 10.10, 10, and I'm on 64 bit, so click that and I'll start downloading here. And this is in a deb file for uh, Debian Linuxes, and if it's in uh, Windows, it might be a uh, zip file or something like that. So after it's done downloading, you'll just go to uh, where it's located and then open it up and uh, unzip it or whatever you're going to be doing with it. Okay. So we'll show in folder. here and I'm just going to open with the software center here It's already installed for me, but uh, I can do an upgrade. But I'll skip that for now. Okay, so running VirtualBox 4.0. Now, one thing to mention is there are two um, different types of VirtualBox. This kind, which is uh, where we're getting it from, their website. And then there's another kind, if we type in. This VirtualBox OSE. That's open source edition, okay? So that's their open source one. They're pretty much exactly the same, except for you will not be able to take advantage of um, some small features like uh, the USB ports and stuff like that. So if you want USB ports, uh, don't go with the open source one, go with the regular VirtualBox. If uh, USB ports don't matter to you at all, Go ahead and uh, get the open source one. Okay. So now we have it, and we will go to where it's located. So let's get a fresh screen here. There's a fresh one. So for me, that will be in Applications, System Tools, and VirtualBox. And I'll open that up. And here's where your virtual box machines will be listed, your virtual machines, okay? But we're going to create a new one. So, because you won't have anything there, we're going to create a new. And you just punk next. And I'm just going to say I'm adding another Windows XP. And so we'll go. I label all my machines VM for virtual machine so anytime I see that file type I know what it is and then I put in what the operating system is and then but since I already have a Windows XP I'm just gonna go with a zero one on this one and I don't know which machine it is then go with next and then I always give mine about a gig of uh, RAM but that's going to depend on how much you have. Me, I have three gigs here I can use. And so 
um, whatever I give to VirtualBox to use for Windows XP, that drops this down for how much I'll have for Linux, so I'll only have two gigs to use for Linux then. Okay? So keep that in mind. Okay, and we're going to go next. And then we're going to create a new hard disk. Next. And the hard disk will be inside of your host operating system. So it's going to I'm going to pick a uh, dramatically expanding storage. I'll give it a low amount of um, disk space, but as more apps and programs get loaded in and it starts using up more space, it will automatically start expanding for that. So I can plug in that I want to give it 10 gigabytes right now, and as it keeps getting fuller and fuller, then it will increase to maybe 15 gigabytes, 20 gigabytes, and higher. But it will just keep expanding as needed instead of me trying to figure well, I'm going to be putting on about this much, so I'll give it 20 gigabytes, and I might not ever use that much, or I might go well over that, but um, instead of using that much right away off the bat, you can let it just expand as needed. Okay, and like I said, I'm giving it 10 gigabytes. You have the slide bar here. You can change the amount there, or you can just go in here and go 10.0 or whatever you would like. go with 10 gigabyte and we'll go next okay and this is tells you what all you're doing your the name the operating system type how much uh, memory you're allocating for it and then uh, how much room you're giving it from your hard drive and whatever you pick that 10 gigabytes you you lose that from your host computer then so your host computer won't use that 10 gigabytes. It'll save it only for your XP virtual box or whatever you're running in virtual box. And then we'll click finish. Okay, so now we have this here. And I guess we will end this video and start. No, we won't. We still need to do one more thing, okay? We need to go back. to where was it? I think it's here, right? This is where I'm looking for this. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here to where the downloads were and we're gonna look at this here. We need to get this extension pack. And this is for enabling the USB devices and stuff like that. Okay? So we'll click on that. And that starts downloading right here, and it's small enough to where it's already done downloading. So we'll click on that, show in folder. Now here it is, and we're going to click and just open that with our virtual box. Okay? So we'll click and open it in virtual box. Alright. For me, I've already have it installed, but I'll do a reinstall here. Shouldn't hurt anything. And you read through this very carefully, of course, every last bit of it until you understand it, and then you can agree to it. Okay. Alright. And... Doo -doo -doo. Failed to install the extension pack. Alright. The installer failed. And I'm not too concerned about it. Okay, so after that, what you need to do is let me get some clean workspaces here. Oh. We will go to system. For me, it's system anyway. And administration. So anyway, you basically go to wherever your users and groups are, okay? And then manage groups. And you will go down to this virtual box users and click on properties. Highlight your virtual box users and click properties. And you will check off your uh, um, name here, okay? So you're giving it access uh, the 
virtual box access and you um, access to everything there okay and then you'll just press OK and you have to authenticate it and all that okay so that's about it for now and we'll go to the next video